Yo, let's get right back into it. I think we have him on the line right now. I've been promising it. Jimmy King, big brother of mine, former Fab Five, also NBA. Jimmy, got to talk to you. What's going on, buddy? What's going on, fellas? How there you he doing? Is. There he is. Doing Jimmy good, King. man. What's up, man? I, I haven't heard that voice in a long time, man. Welcome back, Jim. Hi, <laughs> what up, man? <laughs> it's good to hear you, <laughs> man. Jimmy, tell us what you're it's doing good right to hear now, y'all man. Too. Tell us what you got I up right now. What's Nothing much more of the same. Actually, you'll like this. You'll like this. I'm going political. Ah. I'm working the election polls down here in Dallas, Texas for the uh, early primary voting. The hours are stupid, but... Um, <laughs> Welcome to it's politics. Interesting. Yeah, it's interesting to, uh, you know, to see, you know, things uh, and have conversations with people. Uh, working the polls. So Who's it's, running? It's Jerry Jones and uh, Mike McCarthy. Who would who would who would the people <laughs> run? <laughs> you know what? Dirty. If they if they did run down here in Dallas, they probably wouldn't win right now. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> they would struggle. They would struggle. Hey, Jimmy. Speaking of politics, let's just dive right into it. You see what happened with this? Uh, the suspension came down yesterday. Five games, which is the rest of the season. He will be available for the Big Ten tournament. What do you think about the situation? And what do you think about the suspension? Fair, or unfair? Give it to me straight. I think that um, I think it's unfair um, to the extent that Jawan gets suspended and gets a pretty hefty fine. Um, in comparison to other parties involved. I do think, you know, obviously there needed to be some kind of disciplinary things to happen. Um, but for it to be, you know, kind of skewed um, or one, one-sided, um, you know, just, just seems a little unfair. But, um, you know, nonetheless, I'm, I'm just happy that it wasn't an overreaction and that, you know, Juwan Howard is still the coach of the University of Michigan. Hey, Jimmy, Stan Edwards, how are you doing? What's going on, Stan? I'm doing well. <laughs> serious face. Hey, so you, Stan the man. <laughs> you may not have had an opportunity, and I, and I can understand why, to maybe just uh, be an ear or a source of uh, just comfort for Juwan. If you were to talk to Juwan right now, tell me how that conversation would go. Would you be more consoling? Would you like to talk to him? Where would you go with Juwan in the conversation at this point? Well, at this point, it would just be more consoling to the point that I know that he wants to be there with his team. He wants to coach his team. Um, I know that he's disappointed in um, his actions just because he, he's a stickler uh, when it comes to leading by example and being a true Michigan man and doing what's right um, and, and, you know, being a leader that, that others can follow as an example. So um, he'll be the first to tell you that he didn't do that over the weekend. But um, regardless of the circumstance, you know, he took full responsibility. And, you know, he he gave his word that this will ne- never happen again, which I truly believe. So, you know, if we were sitting in the room right now, you know, I'll pour him a, a nice cold one, <laughs> um, tell him to sit back and, and – Think about you know the future and you know the turn upcoming tournament. Um, if they make the tournament, uh, that that should be their focus and their goal right now. You know whether he's there to lead the team physically um, or not. He could he could still impact his team and still have a successful season um, by making the right choices and doing the right thing. This this thing isn't over. And again, it's just a learning lesson. Um, and because we all know Jawan's character, we've seen this guy. 20 plus years and on that type of stage on many different levels, you know, NCAA, uh, NBA, uh, you know, even international. So uh, that, that's, that would be the main thing that I would say to him is just, you know, um, you know, take this moment, take this time to, to reflect on what happened so that it doesn't happen again and moving forward, uh, you could be the best coach that you could be for the University of Michigan. Jimmy, stand again. Uh, I don't. I am not trying to patronize you on here with this next question. Do you think, listen to some of the comments around the country from some of the talking heads, that there is some Fab Five envy going on there and some of the comments that you're hearing about Juwan? <laughs> of course. Of course, of course. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, 
the love was never there initially when we came. So that love obviously never, or, or you know, or hate never dissipated. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like uh, Muhammad Ali, you know, now or or uh, Martin Luther King, for that for, for that matter. Uh, people claim how much they loved him, but during his heyday, we all know that there was a lot of um, naysayers and haters that tried to impede what he was doing for the betterment of the community. So, um, yes, I do believe that there's some fab five jabs in there that people now can take uh, publicly with him being in a new role as a, as a uh, head coach. But you know that that's nothing new you know that's that's 30 years in the making um so you know that that's in my opinion to be expected and um it's, it's actually just irrelevant you know we we're grown men now we're not we're not young kids you know judge us on the work that we've done and that's all we've ever asked which you know we never work work you know really i feel um judged on to begin with you know and, and so and so yes i think that it is a lot of piling on from things in the past from the fab five but um you know it's it's, it's just a part of our lives at this time <laughs> he knows how to handle that and and we've seen that as he held as he held his press conference we you know i don't expect Juwan to to really uh address that really you know about the fab five stuff or or anything um that could be negative that, you know, that was heaved upon us or, you know, lauded our way to, you know, where we were coming up. So, hey, Jimmy, just, just a bunch of things. My bad, I mean to jump you there. just want to ask you a question. You know, people talk to me about his passion versus this BS in terms of uh, his anger management issues. <laughs> well, you, well, well, here we go again, right? It's, the, it's like the angry black man, right? How dare you get upset? For anything, right? But that that's that narrative is, is is outdated and it's it's false. So you know, it, it, we just have to you know take it with a grain of salt and keep you know using these instances as learning lessons. Um, you know, I've watched and we've watched many games, many sporting events all different time types of industries, all different types of genres, all different types of sports. You know, two in particular that comes to mind when incidents like this happen, but nobody says a word, is hockey. Coaches fight, players fight. Um, you know, we see all type, you know, they use weapons, they, they use sticks. You know, they might, you know, I don't even know the term, like cleat you, you know, anything. So um, something like this that happens in a heated game, uh, in the moment, it, it, it's, it's bound to happen. You know, some sports other more than others. Basketball just isn't one of those sports because of the rules and because of uh, the visual. You know, we're not in the car like NASCAR, you know, where they literally jump out and run on the track while somebody's driving. And hit them and hit somebody in the head, or you know, you seen brawls in the middle in the uh, pit stop. So, you know, to me, it, it's just another day in the office, honestly. And I'm not saying that because it's Juwan and you know, it's my brother, it's the University of Michigan. Like I said, I've seen this growing up, for example, even our own Bo Schembechler, um, you know, had an incident, Christian Leitner, um. Had a had an incident on the court, you know. John Thompson, Don Chaney, Bobby Knight had multiple instances with his players um, on prime time TV. So, you know, again, this is nothing new. Um, I just think that it's kind of a different era and being blown out of proportion because everybody now has an opinion with social media and with all these different angles and views. Uh, nowadays that everybody uses is just is never ending. Um, it's just hot until the next thing happens. Jimmy King um, joins us, former Fab Fiver, NBA, CBA, 
just an all-around good man. Uh, I'm happy to have you back on the air here on Woodward Sports, Jim. Hey, what kind of reputation? Uh, let's face it. He's going to have a reputation now. And you know what? The other coaches and the players in the Big Ten going forward, they're going to pick at him. And they're going to try to get him to do this again, get technical, get teed up. Uh, this is the first time that coaches really – in college basketball have gone against each other. I know that because ESPN has been digging for days to find out, hey, there's got to be other coaches that have fought. But no, this was a first, man. So this is a new this is a new thing. What I'm trying to say is he's going to have a reputation now and going forward, I just don't know how it's going to what's going to happen going forward with the referees and the other coaches trying to pick at Michigan. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I think that we will perceive it to to uh, to be a big deal. Um, the more that we talk about it, and the more that we shine light on it, but I can I can unequivocally tell you that Jawan's actions will not um, foster those types of of behaviors or reactions. Um, and, and for and and if we're being honest about it. Like, he didn't do it this time either. Um, you know, no one wants to talk about, you know, him walking past the guy. And he wasn't really going to even address it. But since the coach felt the need that he needed to say something to, to Jawan while holding him, that in itself is an escalation. Now, in the basketball world, the basketball etiquette, it may not look like that. That may seem minor. Um, and I'm not, you know, I'm not uh, minimizing it or trying to give Juwan a uh, excuse. I just truly believe that so they've been they're professionals. They've been doing this for a long time, and I bet you that a coach in that situation situation has never grabbed a coach like that without there being some kind of confrontation. Some words has changed, maybe not obviously blows like I guess ESPN is trying to find, but definitely um, a conference and some grabbing and some pushing and shoving. Talking to Fat um, Five member, Jimmy King, former teammate of Juwan Howard, going through the situation right now. Jimmy, before I let you go, I'm you know, so take me here. Take me right now. Now he's suspended. Now he's come on. I think yesterday he helped himself with his press conference as well, his press release. I think that was a big thing on Sunday, the press release. When, when he did the press conference, he didn't seem remorseful in the moment. I think that hurt him a little bit in terms of five games as opposed to two. Came out with the press release yesterday. It was much better. Where, did, where, did, where does Juwan go now from five-game suspension to getting back with his team essentially in – a week and a half or so to prepare for the Big Ten tournament. What is Juwan's next move so that he can prove with his actions that this isn't going to happen again? He's still part of the team. You know, you can still coach the team. You just can't be on the sideline, right? Right. <laughs> so so it, nothing changes, and, and especially at this point in the season. You know, you're just doing more of the same, maybe fine-tuning tuning some other things. But, again, I think we have to give Juwan credit and – and understanding that you need a solid staff behind you, and with and with Coach Martelli being on the bench that has uh, years of experience in, in leading a team and being a head coach, there's there shouldn't be any um, pitfalls to be had, or, or at least you know they'll be minimal. So I don't really think there'll be that much of a change other than him just not sitting on the sideline in the game. So his business as usual, maybe even more um, laser focused on the minutia and things of the game since, you know, he'll be watching it from the sidelines. Um, so he'll probably focus on, you know, the things that uh, they need to work on and things that can help improve the team. I think that's what he's going to focus on. Um, I know if I was him, that would, yeah, that would be my suggestion to him, and, and if I was him, that's what I would do. They got a great assistant in Phil Martelli, so uh, who knows? Maybe they go on a five-game win streak here and get in the Correct. tournament, right? Then why? You know, what, what if sometimes Phil gets him in the tournament? To have a different voice. Absolutely. Sometimes it's good to have a, a different voice, and then the things that they, he's been telling them all year, they finally get to do without having to look over to the side on the bench or, um, you know, you know, 
just having that presence. A lot of times players step up, and this could be a blessing, you know, in the size. Well, I hope it is a blessing in disguise. And as a blessing in disguise, I hope you do well down there in Dallas. As the best dunker in the Big Ten in 92, 3, and 4 is now a politician. My brother, Jimmy King, we appreciate Man, you so much. say that. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, you're in politics now. Keep your powder dry <laughs> and keep your back to the wall, bro. <laughs> hey, we appreciate no you permanent guys. enemies, mind, no man. permanent hey, friends, you know, no I permanent take interests. I all your advice, Dan. You know I take all your advice. <laughs> appreciate you, buddy. Bro. I'll be to you again, guys, man. And I wish you all. I'm a, I'll, I'll be back in Detroit in the uh, next couple of weeks. Okay, we'll get up we'll there. We'll grab lunch or something. Sounds good, good, man. That. Count me in. <laughs> all right, Jimmy. I appreciate you, buddy. For sure. All right, thank you, brother. See you, Jimmy. You've reached into the video. You know what you should do? Press like. You know you like the content that we have here at Wilbur Sports Network. I'm Brother Networks from the bottom line. Subscribe to us right now. Ha, <laughs> ha,